perfect timing. My haircut is in one minute. Park in the sun here. Go see Sarah. She's been cutting my hair for 20 years. So she knows what I like. All right, I just lost 12 pounds. Had her go really short. All right, I had a great run. Always feels good to get the heart rate up. I was listening to one of my podcasts, one of my favorites, Freakonomics, how to come good at just about anything. And they talk about the, the idea of practice being engaged in, and, and practicing and actually it's necess the necessary component is outside coaching or outside teaching. And you get stretched that if you just do the same thing for 10,000 hours, you don't get any better at it. You, you just, and so I was thinking about that with, you know, being in business and construction. If, if, if I'm a finished carpenter and I learn some skills in my first year, I, I have this exponential growth of learning how to cope and measure and the saws and all, all those things. And then I just do that for 20 years. I don't, I'm not, I'm not really a finished carpenter with 20 years of experience. I'm a carpenter with one year of experience and 19 years of repeating the same thing. So it, it's adding in that concept that go, that where you need to be deliberate in stretching yourself. If you run, and this really hit me because I'm going to really start watching my heart rate. You we know scientifically that you have to run with your heart at a certain point you know your maximum heart rate 70 percent of that and then things happen physiologically if you run below that your heart rate keep it below that there's no physiological change i'm challenging myself to as i make more videos i'm i'm learning about composing the videos and content and uh, uh, editing, editing is a big one. I've been editing video for a long time. And uh, even back in days where it was tape and we were running multiple tapes and taking bits and pieces, putting them on a new tape. And now the stuff is so much more sophisticated, but I'm taking a class, an online class right now about a piece of software, Adobe Premiere Pro. I've been using it for years. You know, I understand it to some level, and now I'm taking this class that's taking me from beginner all the way through to advanced, and I'm amazed at the stuff I'm learning, and I'm and I'm applying this stuff. So this is the idea of I, I'm already editing, I'm already doing it, but now I'm, you know, I've got new stuff. Somebody is coaching me, teaching me. Whatever you do, however long you've been doing it, try to get some outside help you know and, and YouTube's a great place to go learn something from other people and you don't always have to go learn from somebody that is more experienced than you it's amazing how much I learn in photography from kids in high school and my granddaughter who's in just in high school open uh, our minds up and not become that old curmudgeon I've been doing it this way and it works you know just you know soften the brain cells up you turn it back into mush and 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 let new stuff come in and and take your skills uh to a new level learn something new open open the brain up you know and and let new stuff come in deliberate and practice there's a whole science you can look it up and find out more about it and i'm just obviously breezing over a very in-depth topic so remember that deliberate practice